So just like before, we need to open up our plan generator. Now, because we already loaded that uh, Condoc Labs placemaker drawing set, it is ready to go. So I can just check on our figure ground diagram and our aerial map and click set up project. Now, Condoc is adding all the necessary styles. It's flipping the different placemaker layers on and off, and it's creating the different scenes that we need to create these drawings. There we go, it's finished. So I can close our plan generator. And of course, just like before, we can look at our different buildings, our roads, and our paths, and our water, and our aerial imagery. All right, and then let's hop back over to our buildings. And I wanna just make a quick point about a figure ground diagram and the style of a figure ground diagram. So you can see here that we're just using all of our buildings and they're all being hatched. All right, and, and some people, if, if you're just true to, the, to, to, true to the figure ground diagram, maybe this is how you wanna see it. Well, see, I added the roads and the paths and the water in because I, I just wanted to experiment with Condoc and see what the Condoc tools can do. But let me make this point. We have this thing called the Condoc Configurator. And here you can see that we have a figure ground diagram plan. You can see that this is a plan drawing called figure ground diagram, and it is composed of building roads, paths, and water. Each one of these controls those different scenes. So you have the ability to, you say you wanna make your, uh, maybe make it just the buildings. Uh, maybe you want your water to be hatched in gray rather than blue. Uh, maybe you wanna use some different layers. You have full control over Condoc. You can program your own Condoc. And it's really easy just to take what I've already created and run with it. So that is the Condoc Configurator. Just wanna make the point that I, I do realize that a traditional figure ground diagram is usually just black and white, but we kind of ran with it a little bit and gave it our own style and added in our roads and paths because uh, Placemaker serves it up so easily. All right, so just like before, we're gonna run our Condoc export and I'm gonna set these to be at one inch equals a thousand feet so that we can uh, kind of have that density study. I'm gonna save this one to my desktop temp and I'm gonna call this one Florence, Italy like that. Hit enter. And then we'll just uh, send this over to layout. So clear that. All right, so when we click that Condoc export button, basically Condoc is it's taking all of those scenes, it's stacking them, it's putting them into a group, it's assigning different render settings, whether it's raster, vector, hybrid, to each one of those viewports, uh, setting them to the scale, controlling the line weights. It's doing so much work for us and avoiding so many opportunities for error. That's the beauty of Condoc. So it's, it's taking all of those scenes, bundling them up and putting them into a scrapbook so we can simply drag and drop. Let's go do that. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Condoc Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.